Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And I know it's a very long time I didn't uploaded any video of pawn tutorial, and uh, it's like eight months I didn't uploaded any because I was really busy with my college stuffs. My examinations are still going on, but I thought to upload a single video so you guys will get to know that I'm back on YouTube and you will just get excited about new videos. My exam would be over on 18th July, and after that I would be uploading. Uh, the series again so uh, also i want you to know that i tried to contact youtube to get my channel back uh, but they clearly denied that they won't uh, unsuspend my account due to some terms and policies and all but i will try again and again to get my channel back so guys before starting this tutorial i am very excited to share you about our today's sponsor which is really very helpful for you too and for everyone of this samp community um, I am here with uh, CyberEye Hosting, uh, which is a game server hosting. So, uh, as I also uh, announced on my Discord channel, if you are not uh, there or are not active there, you can just uh, join my Discord channel or uh, your any doubt would be solved. So, let's get back to it. Um, CyberEye Hosting is a game server hosting where you can get a Discord bot or look, SAM server are available apart from that you can get discord bot hosting vps you can get ogp panel and all and it's not like uh, old stuff it's like really uh, its interface is really good you can uh, register a new membership go here and you can register yourself i will uh, give the link in the description to this site so you will guys you guys can register and after registering the best part is you get some free credits like you get up around 150 something and if you verify your discord account you get more 50 credits and if you verify your email address you get more and more coins so you can use these coins to create your own server here you can just go to server create new server and you can just uh, like uh, write the name here and just select like if you need SAMP uh, if you and the best part is you can even use SAMP Windows or SAMP Linux like if you are using the plugins for, for Windows then you can just select the SAMP Windows or SAMP this and just select the note you can see that we have like if you are from India then you can get Indian and if you are from Europe the most uh, best uh, node Europe where, uh, where everyone plays so you can just clearly easily select and you can see you can just easily do that you uh, here like you need 400 cyber coins so you, you can easily get 250 and if you refer someone you you easily get some more so you can see it's really very cheap and you can easily get this it's not a hard thing so i will just drop a link in the description make sure to check this out and make sure to join their discord channel both links would be in description so don't forget to join that channel all right so let's get started first of all i would just continue all right so guys i managed to get back on this uh, my vs code and set up everything i remember i used another plugin for uh, this but i am using the south clause uh, compiler which is like this you can use any compiler it's up to you uh, and uh, i have also shown how you can download vs code and all so without wasting time let's get started so I, as far as i remember in this video i have told you about the basics of pawn language like how you can just loops uh, and uh, about variables data type and all everything you should know about all right so in today's video we are going to know about these things about the basics which you should know and after this i will be covering other things so first of all let's see what is filter script filter scripts are same uh, it's like this code but it's like a, a side code which you add like if you want to make a game if, uh, if you want to make an event uh, like a derby event or any racing event but you don't want to just mix it with your main game mode like this is my main game mode and i want to make an event uh, so i will just rather make another script and put it in my filter script so i will just uh, i can it is very easy and it makes modular script so it's just easy way of accessing other scripts 
so game mode folder we we all know that the game mode folder is main folder where our game mode is stored and the dot pwn this is our this is is this is the file where we actually code and we use our pawn compiler to compile and it turn it into dot amx file which is used by the samp server and after that we have logs folder it just logs everything which happens and this is our pawn folder where our compiler and this is some includes i will tell you about these later and this is our plugins where you store your plugin just ignore these plugins i will tell you soon and scripts file where you just store some data if you use dni or something or you just want to retrieve any file and just ignore this announce and all and uh, the main thing we want to go to server.cfg so let's see what is this okay uh, let me zoom okay so we should know about this thing because it's very important if you guys just ignore this anything like yeah i know i know but that's not the point so first of all let's see what is rc on password rc on is something like admin uh, with uh, this rc on password and all we can control our server we can change game mode we can initiate a gmx we can send a message to everyone it's like that maximum player uh, this uh, maximum player of course limit uh, this is port uh, i will tell you later what is port and our host name where what you want to uh, rename your host game mode zero uh, here we put our game mode name like you can see this game mode folder and my file name is youtube so here we put youtube filter scripts just i told you we also write like if i want min derby event so i will just write derby and add the file and plugins just ignore that and all uh, you don't need to know anything about other anything that's it about this so let's get to the interesting part so this is our basic uh, first of all let's quickly compile it and see yes we have no errors so let's just run this first of all and uh, uh wait a second guys i guess i have loaded plugins so that won't uh, raise an error but still i don't want you to get confused so you can see pawn tutorial by like once coding if you remember in the previous video i told you what is print statement and how we can use it right so it just printed as it so first of all we are uh, going to use our uh, this samp and let's go and see how everything is gonna work here okay guys so you can see that uh, our script has loaded and you can see connected to this we have the spawn button and it's just really random nothing to do right okay so this is how it works so let's do something all right guys so let's see what is here so on game mode in it this function would be this is a callback and this would be called when the game mode initialized so when this is when the game mode is initialized when the server is started so these things would be called so what is this add player class and all set game mode text so set game mode text mean this like you can see they uh, we can see mode and it is youtube so it's written youtube okay and on game mode exit when the game mode closes what it had to do okay so this is some basic and similarly on player connect when a player is connected on player disconnect will a player is disconnected on player spawn on player death on player vehicle so this is all the callbacks so let's know about what is on player command i would like to do something uh, first of all i would like you to know what is send client message okay so we can see we have player id color and constant message okay so i will write player id color i would just do we need hex color here if you use i will just try this combination i don't know what a uh, color it actually produce so i will write uh, welcome to the server user okay so i wrote this line so when a when a player is connected so uh, this message should be shown all right so uh, let's see what will happen i will just compile it and you can say it's compiled successfully so let's rerun the samp server and uh, 
let's connect to our server so guys uh if you have any doubt you can just comment down below or join my discord channel i would be most active there rather than youtube comments so you can just post it out here and i will be answering so you can see we got the message here welcome to the server user okay so this is pretty interesting we did our first uh, interesting thing you can just write anything here and it would be shown up there in game okay so you know about this uh, let's talk about rc on which is very important okay uh, as far as you remember in my server se server configuration i i set it password to asd you can see you are logged in as admin so what we can uh, do like if i write rc on say hi you can see an rc on message has been relayed to every member of this server if any other is also connected he would see this message we can also initiate a restart and change the game mode from here and you can do several things i guess this is the command or oh, no this is not the command so there are several things you can do with rcon there is nothing much to do because we would be scripting here so yeah okay so this is how we can uh, do something so also like you can see on player connect this happened we have also this thing on player command text when a player enters a command okay so this would happen so right now guys i want to tell you that we are not going to use this method every time to make new commands but for now i would tell you how this works okay so let's say i write a skin change so what command what it will do it will change skin for my uh, for my character okay so you can just head over to this site open.mp as we know samp is uh, uh, closed uh, you, yeah we know that samp wiki and uh, the thing is gone so we can just hit so right here so like i want to set skin for my player i will just write set skin and you can see or i will just write skin you can see set player skin we get this so here is literally the best documentation ever you can just do everything on your own you can see the uh it's just give you example to and everything you can just see here and it also tell you the player id you need player id and skin id so what i will do i will just write set player skin and i need player id and skin id the player id itself and the skin id now skin id i will just write 29 so what will happen now if the player write this command skin change uh, his skin would be changed to 29 uh, 29 is the hoodie guy skin <laughs> yes i just want to tell you so this is how this is actually working okay but let's say i want to also give him a message that you have changed your skin so i will just write send client message uh, to whom to the player id okay color let's uh, let me just randomly any right 2 3 4 or like this is uh, let that be i will just write server uh, you have changed your skin okay uh, all right let me compile it and uh, okay it's compiled successfully so you can see we did nothing we just use this set player skin command and it it told me that i need a player id and a skin id so i just wrote the player id and the skin id so uh, it's now compiled so let's just okay so now let's use rcon command okay so what we can do rather than just closing and all we can write rcon gmx what is rcon gmx it will just restart my, uh, our script so it, the new script would be loaded okay so first we will uh, see this welcome to server user as you can see let me spawn and okay let's see i write change skin okay i guess the command is skin change sorry so i will write skin change and we will get a gray hoodie guy you can see we had this skin change Uh, and the color i chose is really nice i just 
happen to be and you can see this but what you can also do i want to tell you you can also change color of this text like if you want this server to be of another color and this to be of another color you can what you can do okay let's suppose i want this server to be in red color so i will use this curly braces and write a hex code color in it so for red i guess it should be 9900000 for red color and after that i want this color okay like if i want this color or white color let's say i will just write the white color code okay so this is how we do it so what will happen uh this color would start from here and it will just end up here and from this after this this white color would appear from here so this should happen i guess so let's just reload the script ag script again so another method to do that i will just write rc on change mode and i will write my game mode name which is youtube what is youtube this dot amx file name okay so i just wrote the uh, game mode name so it will change if you have like multiple game modes and you just want to change it quickly you can do that and i will write skin change so uh, i guess oh i guess i didn't compile it maybe let me compile it yes so now it's compiled all right so let's just uh, initiate a change mode okay so this is really basics of pawn we would be going to everything like arrays enums functions call user defined function i would be also telling how you can connect mysql and also how you can make your own login registration system vehicle system with saving and all like everything i'm going to tell you so let's write skin change and you can see the server is in red color and the other thing is in white color so this is all to make this thing happen very um, colorizing is really important designing is very important part in sam scripting because if you just use a white color everywhere it would be just the worst way to make your server so this was all about today guys and i hope you understand everything if you didn't make sure to join my discord channel and head over to pawn doubts and you can ask your doubts here we have our uh, admins developers and myself which i would be helping you so this was for today guys make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to check the uh, our sponsor so that was for today guys thank you